Hi everybody. So a lot of you comment and tell me that your exes keep coming through in your readings and it's someone that you're trying to move on from. And I totally understand that energy because that happens to me as well when I'm watching other readers. My exes always come through and it's like it's people that I don't really want anything to do with anymore, but they their energy always comes through because they try to pull me back in. So I'm doing a little experiment here. I'm putting the intention in that this reading is only going to be that I'm only going to channel um, twin flames uh, and life partners. So this could be a soulmate or a twin flame. But I'm putting the intention in that karmics do not get to come through in this reading. People that were abusive mentally or physically do not get to come through in this reading. I'm, I'm putting the intention in that this is a high vibrational reading and that this is for, um, for life partners, be it twin flames or soulmates. These are not for, not for karmics. So... You know, but again, I don't know if this is going to work. This is just a little experiment because, you know, sometimes the cards just say what they want to say. And there's sometimes when you guys need certain warnings about the karmics. Um, but, but I understand that frustration of, you know, wanting to get a reading about a specific person or wanting to know if, if new love is coming in and, you know, your, your ex just pops through in all your readings. I understand how frustrating that is. So, so I'm doing a little experiment here to just, you know, let's see if I can block those exes out and channel your life partner. Um, please comment below because I don't know if it's going to work or not. Like I said, this is, this is a new experiment. I don't know what the cards are going to say. So if it, if it worked, please comment below and let me know. Um, if this is the same old person coming through, then, then comment and let me, let me know below too. All right. So no idea what the cards are going to say. This may or may not be your reading. Um, it's, you know, I like to reiterate for people that are new to my channel that you, you, you might be following the collective uh, Zodiac group, like for your specific Zodiac sign, but this, this specific reading may or may not be for you. I don't, you know, the cards just kind of say what they want. So anyway, let's get into it. So, so life partners only. So put the intention in. I put the intention into the cards. Okay. This is for life partners only. What does your life partner want to tell you? Five of Swords. The High Priestess. The King of Swords. Let me readjust that for you guys here. death. Okay, so a situation is coming to an end because you're using your intuition finally. So the karmic is coming through in a sense, but it's just to say it's ending and I think I think it's I think the story is is about to be told here. Um so this is the current energy or it's past energy, but it not too distant past, I feel. This is you letting go of either a king or queen of swords. So this is someone who was overly logical, um chose their head over their heart might have listened to rumors about you, might have um, just been emotionally unavailable, just shut you out. Um, and it's like your your intuition was kind of screaming at you that this wasn't right for you. You know, you had to either you, they were in the five of swords energy and they were just trusting you or you didn't trust them. It was like there wasn't there were just walls up between you two. It like you, you didn't feel safe around them. Like you didn't your body didn't feel safe. Like intuitively, you just you didn't feel safe. Um, or you didn't feel open with them. There was just something off there. Like some part of your intuition was screaming at you that this wasn't right for you. Um, but with the high priestess here, it's like you're, and this could be male or female. You could be a male in the feminine energy. So, so don't get caught up on gender or anything, but someone is using their intuition now. Like you're using your intuition and you're recognizing this energy. You're recognizing that this wasn't your true love like you thought it was and you're allowing the situation to come to an end is there anything we need to know about that situation just really quick yeah more peaceful times are ahead i think now that you're being honest with yourself i think some of you thought that this was your person and you're realizing it's not so this actually does make sense that this energy is coming through since i'm putting the intention in of channeling your your life partner like you need to know not only who your life partner is, but also who your life partner isn't. So it's saying that this person that you, that was overly logical and analytical and um, shut you out and played games and, you know, you, you didn't intuitively feel safe around them. They're, they're confirming like you made the right choice by, 
like you're letting it go or you're calling someone out right now. I just feel the energy of you moving forward either way. Like you maybe weren't in denial about this situation being over for a while because maybe some small part of you still thought maybe this, this could work. But now you're using your intuition and you're stepping into your power. And your guides also want you to know that there are more peaceful times ahead. And Ace of Swords. So this is clarity. So this is this is this goes with the High Priestess card. This is clarity, intuition. Um, could be a truth coming out about this person suddenly like maybe they spread rumors about you or they lie to people about you or they um maybe there was cheating or there was something toxic going on so it's like you might get a, a kind of shocking truth because it's maybe that was what was required to to get you to let go of this you know because you know if this is your story then you already intuitively know that this isn't your person anymore like your intuition's been screaming at you to let go of this so this wouldn't this wouldn't really come as a shock to you. The news you might might come as a shock to you. So it might be like intuitively you already know that this isn't working out anymore and that, you know, that that was a karmic situation and that there's something better for you. That maybe you didn't know how bad this person really was. Like you might get, you know, news that they're, they're doing drugs or drinking or they're, um, they cheated or spread rumors or something of that sort but I feel like you're actually going to feel really good about this news because it's going to give you a sense of clarity that you're on the right track and that you did the right thing letting you letting them go and four of wands you know you got more pe you got more peaceful times coming up the wheel it was just it was a karmic cycle that needed to be completed yeah knight of wands and you you're you're moving out of this energy really quickly let me take a look and see what new energy is in store for you So what's coming up after this? You know, so okay, so you're letting this person go. You're you're finally accepting it's over. You're moving on from it. You you've known for a while that you deserve more than this. What is what's coming after that? Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, okay so this is a quick warning here that someone might try to um, come back around because they see you financially doing well and they might want a part of that so it's almost like this warning that you're building something new and this could also be the new love that you're manifesting so you're, man you're manifesting something new right now this could be this could be a new person. This could be a new career. You might be a student and you might be um, starting school. It, it's some sort of new um, opportunity that you're, you're manifesting and you're committing to now in the physical realm. And it's kind of just giving you a warning that as you manifest this, just to watch your back and be defensive because the ex that I just channeled might want to come through and try to sabotage this so but you're the queen of swords you're the king or queen of swords either way you're you're powerful you're you're strong you're capable so it's just kind of you know a warning like as you manifest this new love or whatever this new opportunity is um protect it if it's money if it's love just protect this opportunity don't let rumors interfere with this um like if it's new love don't let rumors interfere with this new opportunity because your ex might get jealous and try to sabotage you or if it's money they might see you doing success being successful and they might want to come in and, and have a piece of that because maybe they're not doing so well financially maybe they want to borrow money from you um two of wands it's like seeing things in a long-term approach and just kind of making the queen of swords energy just a part of um who you are it's almost like having a balance between the queen of wands and the queen of swords energy here where it's like you just need to the queen of swords is someone who's willing to cut other people out if necessary to protect themselves it's someone who's who's strong who's assertive who's opinionated who stands in their power they set firm boundaries and they stick to those boundaries so you know it's just kind of a little warning here like you are manifesting something new but as you do that, um, be, you know, 
mindful to protect yourself both physically and also um, astrally in a telepathic sense. Protect yourself as well. But if you're if you're that energy group that I channeled, remember I did the um, the witchcraft readings a while ago, and also the Aries videos that were saying someone's um, you could have Aries in your chart, you know, saying someone's basically trying to manipulate you. They're trying to use magic on you, but they're it's about to backfire on them because they're they're just doing the spell work, but they're not actually making an attempt to be in your life and they're kind of just trying to sabotage you. So that's about to backfire on someone bad if it hasn't already. Like this person either just has lost their power or they're about to lose their power probably like this week. Like they don't they don't really have any other chances. They're they're done for, you know. They're whoever this was that was trying to sabotage you. If you're in that energy group, if this is a continued story for you, then um then yeah, that person's pretty much screwed, to be honest. But anyway, so okay, so we got a warning here as you manifest something something new. So I like I like how this is a story. You see how it's playing out? It's like it tells you, okay, that's that's where you're at. You you you're letting this go, and then it, there's like a little bit of a warning, like just to kind of protect yourself. But I mean, you're already your guides are protecting you, but it's just kind of like being mindful. You know what I mean? Like. Because, I mean, your guides protect you in the higher realms, but, like, your guides can't really protect you from, like, rumors and whatnot. Like, that's hard. I mean, they can, but it, it's much harder because it's something physical. You know what I mean? So it's like if someone wants to spread rumors about you, it's, it's kind of difficult. So kind of be prepared to counteract those rumors if this is, like, someone in your social circle. But um, anyway, so what happens after that? Okay, so you got a warning. What happens after that? Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. the death card again yeah I think it's just reiterating what we just said that there's like a period of, of it's like it, it hurts to some degree there's a nostalgia but you're not running from it anymore you're accepting that this is over um show me the new person show me the new person please Four of Cups, so coming out of stagnant energy, especially because you're the high priestess or the high priest, male or female. And the Angel of the Delanua card in this deck is about um, the light after the darkness. So it's kind of like you've gone through a period of darkness and, and loneliness and isolation, but you're getting out of that energy. And the reason you're getting out of that energy is by being in this high priestess or high priest energy, where this is, it's like you're intuitive, you're, you're powerful, you're magical, the world is your oyster. You're, you're reclaiming this, pow this power. You're getting yourself out of the darkness. I think some of you went through a, a phase where you kind of just waited for something to happen. Like you expected something to just fall in your lap. And I think that you're getting into this. Um, I think you were in Eight of Swords energy, basically. And I think you're coming out of Eight of Swords energy. I think that you were feeling as if, you know, you just didn't know how to move forward. Like you, you felt... Like maybe something would happen, something would shift suddenly, and now you're just sort of making it happen. You know, you're it's it's like you're not doing spell work for weight loss. You're you're going to the gym to lose weight. You know, you're you're not doing love drawing spells and, and sitting at home doing nothing. You're you're doing the love drawing spells and then you're getting on dating apps and you're you're going out and meeting people. Or you're in that energy energy where that's coming up for you, where you're 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 reclaiming your power. You're you're doing what's right for you. So it's really it's really good that you're finally getting out of this stagnant energy, and you know following your intuition and trusting your intuition. You're you you guys are possibly going through like a psychic awakening process too, where you reclaim your intuition, and you're coming into this more gentle energy, the Queen of Cups energy, where you can be more emotional and intuitive and open. And you know again, Ten of Swords. It's like. It's, it's like you hit rock bottom, but there's there's nowhere else to go but up from here, you know? And then you have Ace of Cups. So that's that's Ace of Cups is, that's the stirring of new romantic feelings. So that could be like a neighbor or it could be just someone, someone around you that, that's noticing you, basically. Someone that's that's kind of, they're becoming aware of you. Now, this could be someone in your energy field or it could be someone, this could be someone you just started dating. Ace of Cups talks about new love. So this is like the stirring of romantic feelings, like when two people just start having feelings for each other or just start having a romantic interest in each other. So this could be like someone 
you know, that, that you notice out in public or like on social media that kind of notices you, they're interested in you. There's, it's like the honeymoon phase. Like they're starting to really notice you and think about you more and more. Um, or this could be, you know, it's, it's, it's new love in general. So this could also be someone that you just started dating that you're just now getting to know. But, but yeah, a lot of you have new love coming in. So it's, it's a really good thing. I feel like because these cards keep coming up about the ex, so I think for some of you, it's tough. Like, I think your guides are saying, hey, if you want this life partner, you have to really let go of the ex. Because some of you were still holding on a little bit. I think that it was, I think you were mostly holding on out of familiarity. Like, I think some of you thought the toxic ex was your life partner. And so part of you was... I think it was just hard for you to fully let go of it, I feel, because it's it was so damaging when they when they left or when that didn't work out, when they it, they didn't turn out to be who you thought they were. So I think some of you are still holding on to it a little bit. Some of you need to cut the cords because it's if you look at the story here, it's almost telling you, you know, Ten of Swords is like rock bottom, but it's like there's you can only go up from there. You know, it's like this it, it's as painful as it gets. I mean, except for Three of Swords, I guess, but... It's like that's, you know, th look at her. She's like he or she is accepting the ending. They're accepting that that they're accepting the pain. They're accepting that this is finally over. And again, I think that most of you have been kind of over this person for a while, but maybe they're still coming in your energy field because maybe there's some trauma that you haven't really fully let go of regarding them just because of how shocking the the breakup was or how how shocked you were that they betrayed you or that it didn't they didn't turn out to be who you thought they were so some of you really need to do cut and clear work and cut the cords on this person and then this new love is going to be coming in I feel because it's kind of seems like that's what it's saying you know but I always encourage you guys to intuitively interpret the cards the way that you see fit because there there's could be multiple stories here so if you see this if the ace of cups means something specific to you then take that you know like go with that go go with your own intuition um it, it doesn't I mean nothing's set in stone here it's not like the ace of cups has to mean a certain thing it it means whatever it means to you you know what I mean but yeah, you're finding a balance um, in your life here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, so you're going to have multiple options before you know it. And then with this Sun card, you're going to be moving forward. Hmm, that's interesting. Seven of Cups, the Sun, and the Tower. Okay. What else? What comes after the Tower? The Ace of Wands. It's like a passionate new start. Okay. I think this is kind of just reiterating what we got in, in the first couple spreads where um, like you, you maybe have multiple options. Like you might be aware of this new person. Like maybe you just started talking to them or you can feel them in your energy field. And then with the sun here, it's like you're moving forward. But then it's kind of saying like if you keep entertaining multiple options, you're going to have this tower moment. Um, where it's like, you're going to get this rude awakening. Like this truth is going to be revealed about someone. And this is only like, I think you can have multiple options if they're positive options, but if you're holding onto the toxic ex because it's familiar, because you know, that was originally the person you thought was the one for you. And it's kind of hard to accept that, that, that it's not anymore. Then I think you're going to have this tower moment where it's just going to kind of like slap you in the face here. And you're going to, you know, you're going to realize some things about the ex, but, but yeah. So where are we going from here? Where are we going from here? Temperance, just finding a balance. Um, getting out of a period of poverty or anxiety, isolation, knight of swords, you know, bravery, really stepping into your truth and being brave, eight of pentacles, um, self-mastery as well here. I'm going to pull some more cards. So show me the new person now. Show me the new person. X, the past. And you're going to have like a new perspective regarding like the karma. You're going to take this karmic lesson and learn from it. 
and you're going to have a new perspective, like you're going to understand things better. And then once you, it's almost like you've been stuck in this karmic cycle with an ex. And once you really like do like the cut and clear or you learn the lesson or whatever, it's like true love and abundance will flow to you pretty quickly. And you'll be in your magic, you know, magic, intention, power, manifestation, like manifesting the love you want, like doing road opening spells, that kind of thing. Um, cutting these cords finally that have been keeping you trapped. Yeah, I think that there's a hidden truth coming out about an ex. I really feel that there's a hidden truth coming out. There's some like they cheated or they lied about you or they there's something there. There's something that they did. It's, I think that's that tower moment that's going to come through because you're really needing to let go of this. So I think this makes sense that I'm getting this energy because I think some of you are like, why is my ex still coming up? Why is my ex still coming up? And maybe your guides are kind of saying like, well, this is why your ex is still coming up because there's still something there. The cords, you didn't cut the cords or you didn't like, you didn't learn the karmic lesson that you were meant to learn from that. And so you're going to repeat it in your in your next relationship. So they're wanting this energy cleared away before they bring this new love in for you guys. But I think this hidden truth is about to come out. It's either just come out or it's going to come out and that's going to help you cut these cords because you're going to finally be like, okay, I don't ever want to be a part of that energy again. I don't want to be involved in this. Like it's going to um, shed some light and give you some clarity. And I think that that's going to help you move forward. And I feel like that's going to help you get out of that energy of like anxiety and isolation and confusion because you're going to, you know, the path ahead is going to become more clear to you. Yeah, you've been confused and uncertain, but I think once you clear this out. Yeah, because it's been a power struggle with this person. Submissive, weak-willed. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like it's been a power struggle and like you always gave in to this person before, but now you're cutting them out. Okay. Pri yeah, they have too much pride and stubbornness and there's anger and miscommunication that took place in this relationship. Let me ask my pendulum. Are you guys going to let me know anything about the new person today? Okay. They're not going to let me anything. They're not going to. Oh my gosh. I can talk. I really can. They're not going to let me know about the new person today. But I feel like if you're part of this energy group, then this is going to be a continued story. So the next time I do a twin flame reading, there's going to be an update to this situation. So I think that you needed to know this. And now you need to do with this, with this whatever you want to do with it. And then when I channel you again... I'm going to put it under twin flame reading though. I'm going to, I'm going to put that this is a twin flame reading because I mean, it is, even though, even though this is the toxic X that I channeled today, I think it's like, it's a, if, if it, if, I hope that makes sense. It's like, it's a continued twin flame story because it's, it's, um, or soulmate, you know, life partner. The intention was just, you know, show me the life partner. So they have to show you the bad things too. They have to show you like whatever's holding you back from it, whatever's been keeping you stagnant to get you to your life partner. And, and so you guys needed to know, um, like why your ex keeps coming up in your videos, why this energy keeps repeating, because I mean, you might feel like you're over it, but it might just be like the damage is still there. It's like, it's still that shock and that betrayal might've caused like soul loss, or it might've just like the red, red cords. It might not even be that you, like, you might be completely over them like a hundred percent, like you're healed from it. You don't, you don't give a shit about them, but maybe the red cords are still there so they can kind of feel when you're moving on and they try to pull you back in or they try to manipulate you astrally. And so it's possible that your spirit guides are just protecting this new connection because they don't want this other person trying to, to spread rumors or lies or they, or, um, you know, pulling you back in or manipulating you or doing witchcraft on you or whatever they're trying to do. So I think maybe some of you need to cut those cords for good. Um, or whatever. I mean, it's, it's going to be different. For some of you, it's cord cutting. For, for others, I feel like it's just a matter of, you know, seeing this truth and, and clearing this karmic pattern. Because you might have like a pattern that you could be repeating and they don't want you to do that in your next relationship. So that could be it because if your life partner is coming, they're going to want to make sure that you're ready. They don't want you to repeat the old energy. So, you know, think about your, think about this ex and think about what 
the lesson might have been there? What was the karmic lesson? What was the karmic cycle that you just completed? And make sure that karmic cycle is completed, that you can move on from it, that you can clear your energy from it. Some of you need to do uncrossing work, cut and clear work, uh, road opening, you know, to move forward here. So, so yeah, like I was saying, this is, this is a twin flame story. I mean, this is a, a twin flame soulmate life partner, um, you know, higher vibrational energy. We're, we're getting away from the karmic stories, but, but basically they needed to let you know this. They needed to let you know why this person keeps coming up in your readings. Um, so you can clear this energy out. But yeah, they're not going to tell me anything about the the life partner yet. Because I think that they needed to get this out to you so that you can you can go ahead and take this information and figure this out. Um, maybe you need closure with someone. Maybe you need to send a message to someone and just spill it out. Because maybe you're kind of, maybe part of you is waiting for this person to message. Like you kind of, you know deep down that this is not right for you anymore. Like some small part of you maybe want, like hopes that it could go back to how it was. But it's like deep down, you know that this person revealed their true colors and there, there's no going back. Like maybe you had a good relationship and then they cheated and you're like, you just want to feel the same way you used to feel about them. You want to see them that way again. You want that trust back. But deep down, you know that trust isn't coming back. So maybe this is for some of you. In full disclaimer, I am not responsible for what you do or don't do as a result of my readings. Like you are fully responsible for yourself. But my advice is just my personal opinion and, you know, only take it if it resonates and always use your intuition above all else. But personally, I think some of you might need to send a message. Some of you might need closure like maybe some small part of you hopes that they're going to message someday that maybe they'll just wake up and they'll realize how much they messed up and they'll send that message and you've already been waiting months or even years for this message and it just hasn't come but you you just hope you know here and there you just have that hope that maybe they're going to message and maybe you just need to message them to get that closure and just say like you betrayed me you did this you did that like I you know just just get it out there just so you Maybe you need the last word. Maybe there's something that you need to say that you keep holding on to. And maybe you need to, to say it so you can clear your throat chakra out. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Maybe some of you need to write. Maybe you could write a letter. If, you, if for some reason you can't write to this person, you can write a letter to them and just pour it all out and then burn it. Burn it. Just, just light it on fire, you know. Um, but But yeah, anyway. There, so yeah, I, th I think hopefully we'll be able to channel the new person in the next reading, but but this energy is, they, I think they don't want to overload you. They want you to focus on this right now, on cutting this out. And I really feel like the new person is going to be moving in pretty quickly once this is resolved. So um, please keep me updated. Let me know how it goes, like if, you, if you're getting this resolved. And then hopefully next, um, you know, look out for those twin flame readings. I'm going to label them as twin flame readings. So the next one... Um, well, it's going to be a continued story. So anyway, and if you would like a private reading, my email address is below. And please subscribe if it resonates. And yeah, thank you for watching. And any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App is also below. So thank you guys for watching.